Hmm, it's probably very yummy. Kinda wanna get one. Well, now I'm back with the Alyonka, and actually, I have three of them. You might ask me, Axel, why do you need three of them? You need just one for testing, right? Yes, I need one for testing. And I need the other two for a very simple reason. Um, You know, you can craft sugar with Alyonka, right? And you need two of them. You need exactly two of them for that. And with the help of sugar, you can get some boost. And uh, how else am I supposed to refill my vodka supplies? Duh! Anyhow, back to our Alonkas. So, I wasn't sure which one they use in the game, and I didn't really double check before buying. And uh, judging from the one in game, I think they have a bigger version of Alonka. There are, I think, like, there, there are a couple of versions. I think there is four or five different sizes. And the one they use in the game is the biggest one. I did not buy the biggest one. And secondly, I bought the one with original flavor, which is simply milk, chocolate. And the one I have in the game is the one with almonds. I'm not sure why they decided to go for that one. Uh, maybe I can try this one later. Maybe I just should buy all Alyonkas in existence. I think there's like uh, five, maybe six different chocolate bars. And if we take every single type of sweet and chocolate they have, I think it's going to be like 30 different uh, types of things I can try. And maybe I should do my own uh, tier. Um, an interesting fact is that they're using big Alyonka in the game. However, if you look at the small one, the mass of the small one is 90 grams, and the mass of the big one is 200. However, if you put the chocolate in your backpack, it adds only 100 grams, so it doesn't really make sense. Nikita, please fix. Realism. But other than that, I can't really say much. Chocolate looks absolutely stunning in the game, and it's very close to the real one, as you can tell. So now it's time to eat it. I don't think I'll be able to eat it the way the PMC ate it. I'll probably unpack it and uh, take a small bite. Um, there is one thing which doesn't really make sense on the back side of Alyonka, uh, where it lists all the ingredients like milk, cacao, etc. It says that there might be a little bit of almond. It doesn't say there is, it says there might be. What does this even mean? Anyway. Alright, so about the flavor. I wouldn't say it's superb. Um, I've eaten Alyonka for my whole life. It's good. I like it. Even though this is a uh, classic flavor, I don't really know why. It has a small aftertaste of uh, nuts, like, you know, usual nuts. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this, but nevertheless, here we are. Um, I bought this Alyonka for, I think, 90 rubles, which is equivalent to 1.2 dollars. And I would give it a 8 out of 10. I'm a big sweet tooth. I really like chocolate sweets and anything which involves sugar. So I've tried plenty of chocolates and my favorite one is probably Lind. If you heard about that one. Um, and I don't think it doesn't even come close to Lind. However, this is definitely one of the best uh, Russian chocolates which you can ever try. And yeah, I can't hate on it too much. I mean, look at this. Look at this pretty face, huh? And now I will tell you a little bit about Alyonka's history. We need a widely available affordable milk chocolate. Such task was set by the Soviet government's food program in the 1960s. Out of the companies competing for the government tender, 
Krasny Oktyabr, which is known as uh, Red October, was chosen. The confectionery Alonka line then became a national chocolate of the day. The bar took its name from the daughter of the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova. However, the honor of becoming the face of the chocolate went to a different girl. In 1966, the first chocolate bars came out with an eight-month-old Elena Gernia's face gracing the packaging. A long search preceded the final decision. The designers tested different opinions. There was a girl with uh, carnations, a girl with uh, pigtails, a little Snigurishka, snow maiden, but nothing was being approved. Since the designers had reached a dead end, someone suggested using a girl from Viktor Vesnitsov's painting, Alenushka. However, the idea was criticized. Vesnitsov's girl sits in the bare feet and Soviet children are not in any need of shoes, the Communist Party deemed. The impasse resulted in a submission of new requests for tenders. In 1965, the newspaper Vichernia Moskva, Evening Moscow, received more than 1500 shots of the would-be packaging, but the one that ended up winning was a picture already known to the nation from state-produced magazines, including the cover of Health. Its author was the journalist Alexander Girinas. The wide-eyed cover girl was his daughter, Elena. For the chocolate bar to really become national, the girl's eyes were redone in blue and her face was uh, lengthened and the upper lip enlarged. The chocolate with her face on the cover would accompany Elena her entire childhood, but neither she nor her family would ever see a ruble for the photograph. They had kept this to themselves until the year 2000. As the Alenka marketing campaign kicked off, Krasny Oktyabr invited Yelena Gernes to the official presentation. She was given a sweet prize as the little model, but they didn't stop Yelena wishing for something different. That, decades later, she would be given some sort of a contract or at least a reward. This never happened, and Gernes, then 36, decided to take the confectory maker to the court. Gernes lodged a claim against the brand with a request to acknowledge her legal rights to the photograph as well as for financial compensation and a percentage for any future use of her image. She valued the damage at 5 million rubles, which is roughly 66,000 uh, American dollars. The legal battle lasted two and a half years and ended with Gernes losing. The investigation concluded that the cover was indeed most likely redrawn from the photo in the question. It even found 18 similarities to support the case. However, changes made to the original photograph legally rendered its use fair, putting it squarely in the original work category. Look closely at Alenka, her knot is tied in a peculiar way, because my mom is a lefty. This detail didn't escape the court, but was never officially acknowledged. Today, the 56-year-old lives in Himki, just outside Moscow, with her husband and two children. She works as a librarian, but is also an expert in uh, pharmacology. Elena can be found on Facebook where she posts various things, including Dutch photos with her family and the occasional petition. So more or less we are done with the video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also tell me if you would love to try Alenka, I don't know, maybe I should do some giveaways and just buy a bunch of these and uh, do a giveaway and send them to you by mail. And yeah, it was fun uh, making a bit of IRL content, maybe I should do something like this in the future. If you have any clever or creative ideas, please let me know. Feel free to check out my Instagram, I usually post pictures whenever I go out with my friends or eat something tasty. It's just about my real life and it's nothing, uh, nothing Tarkov related. Also check out my Twitch where I stream daily and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.